Yikeroonies. Trying to get back on the stage, you got this. Oh! Controversial? <laughs> B, car flip. Thank you so much, Santa. Oh my god, a box? Thank you, thanks, Santa. Christmas is funny. Super Smash Brothers Ultimate in a nutshell. Hey, your character is getting changed. Oh, it's What's good, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Holiday Smash. For this season, I'll be your host, Osti, and we got some great rounds coming for you. Just to let you guys know how it's gonna be going on, each round's gonna be worth 300 points to go for a total score. And the trick is, they're also gonna be answering some trivia questions. I'm joined here by some smashers here, $2,000 on the line. Let's go over here to our first contestant, Zamba. Dude, how you feeling? No, I'm feeling great today. Happy to be here, you know, we can't really complain about anything. Heck yeah, I got a question for you. Sure. If you could change anything about Smash Ultimate, what would you change? Just one the thing. The Wi-Fi. Or like the online system. The online? Yeah. It's pretty, that, it's not that great. That's fair. I, you know what? Good answer. I like that. No, you didn't go for the balancing. That, that tossed you the low-hanging fruit. You didn't go for it. <laughs> Big fan. All right. Our other contestant over here, French Tutor. French Tutor, same question. If you could change one thing about the game, what would you change? I would change Link's back here to everyone's... Uh, like similar ones that's like hard hitting and I feel like he would be better that way. Not the multi-hit? Uh, no, yeah. No multi-hit, just straight up, just strong back air. Oh, I feel that, okay. Mm -hmm. And you're feeling pretty confident about this match? How, how are you feeling against you? Uh, you're up against a top 10 player, so yep. this is a... Probably the best player in New York against Zamba, so yep. I'm a little nervous, <laughs> a little nervous right now, but I'll try my best. Heck yeah, you, you were on vacation for a while from Smash, weren't you? Yeah, it's been three years. Nice, and... well, welcome back, we're glad to thank, have you. Thank you. All right, guys, I think it's enough banter for now. How about we jump into some Smash? I'm down. Get some Go. Smash games in there. Sure. All right, let's do it. Whenever you're ready. Yeah. Remember guys, this is, so this is round one. It's gonna be best two of three. I'm gonna be talking during the match. You guys have to listen to my annoying voice this whole time. So get used to it. Might even throw them some trivia questions. Who knows? We'll see where the night takes us. Pokemon Stadium 2, obviously. Very popular stage. I, I You know what? The last episode, the guys actually started on Small Battlefield. You, you guys immediately went to PS2. Are you guys more of a PS2? Yeah, definitely PS2 over Small Battlefield, to be honest. Is it just because it's bigger? It's the comfort aspect of it. Ah, yeah. Yeah, everyone hates PS2. Yeah. I mean, that was what we always went to back in the day when you were playing, dude. <laughs> right? Yeah. Remember that? That's right. So how come you always played Link, French? Oh, like, no. like, I've, I've been like playing Zelda? Link in every single Smash situation. 64? Yeah. Really? Yeah, even though he was horrible. <laughs> but, but he's not horrible in this one. Yeah. Because of stuff like yeah, that. He, yeah, he's pretty good. Yeah? Yeah, except that part. Well, that, that was a, that's a yeah. Rob thing. Yeah. That's, that's that's the Zamba factor. Yeah, that's just Rob. Yeah. <laughs> Rob getting the down throw. All right, gonna air dodge in there. Okay, Zamba, I got a question. You ready for this? Yep. Now remember, when I ask this trivia question, either of you can buzz in. The first one to buzz will be able to answer. You can buzz in at any time, but I stop I stop reading off the question and the answers once you do it. So it's multiple choice. So let's go with the first one here. What is the name of Captain Falcon's ship? Is it Red Robin, Green Goshack, Blue Falcon, or Scarlet Shrike? Uh, yes. It's the Blue Falcon. That is correct. 100 points towards Zamba. Pretty pretty uh, easy ball, curve ball yeah. there. I mean, F-099 just came out, so everyone knows the Blue Falcon now. Of course. Did you guys play the new F-099? Did you guys try that game out? Oh, uh, no. Dude. I, low-key, definitely did not play. Dude, <laughs> it's free. It's free, that's all I'm saying. It's pretty fun. Looking forward for like a resurgence. <laughs> I think when people think of Captain Falcon, they think of Smash, so. Yeah, it definitely feels like more of like a Smash character than like... F-Zero? Yeah. Dude, that, that was kind of nasty. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> you feel good about that one? Yeah. I felt, I pretty, I felt pretty good watching it, to be honest. I mean, there's one thing French Tutor's got for him, though. This man can live. You were at like 220%, man. Yes, I was. <laughs> you're not proud of wow, it. I don't know what's going on right now. And you're, 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 you're putting up a fight, bro. All right. In a pretty bad spot. Would hate to ask a question when you're in disadvantage, wouldn't it be? Wouldn't that be awful if I did that, huh? <laughs> Here comes the next question, guys. What is the first Legend of Zelda game 
to feature Ganon as the villain in a canonical timeline. In the canonical timeline, not release order. Is it A, Link to the Past, B, Zelda 2, Link's Adventure, 3, Ocarina of Time, or 4, Oracle of Ages and Seasons? Hmm. Mr. Link over here. You feel that at all? Uh, that in? What, what do you yeah. I'm gonna guess. I, I okay, blue, throw it out. I'm gonna say Oracle of Ages. Incorrect. You want to try to snag that from him? Uh, oh, could I ask the choices again? or? It is uh, Link to the Past, Zelda 2, Ocarina of Time, or Oracle of Ages and Seasons. Link to the Past. Incorrect. It was Ocarina of Time. Oh, really? Actually. Yeah. Oh, wow. I mean, Ocarina of Time is pretty early on in the timeline, but it's not the first, but it's the first one where the Ganon's like the main villain. But that's okay. No harm, no foul. That's going to be 300 points. Oh, wait. I'm sorry. That's game number one. Not 300 points. Yeah. We still got game number two to go. <laughs> so we got counter picks coming out here. What are, what are we, how are we feeling? What stage bands are we down here? Um, you know what? I'm down the funny stage. You want? Oh, guess you? That's fine. I, feel, I sense a reoccurring pattern. This is what <laughs> happened. This is what happened last time too. It was just all small battlefield the entire day. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Is what that I was saying. Three, I legitimately think if your character is not good on PS2, then you're not playing a good character. I, th I think it's just like a, you just need to play someone that can play on a basic stage. Yeah, I mean, PS2 is like, it's just a very reliable stage, so not being able to play on PS2 can definitely be like a little weirder. Yeah, yeah. I mean, some characters obviously thrive from it, like uh, Palutena, for instance, mm -hmm. gets those little cancels, has the perfect platform placement, so. But it's just a little reliable, can't go wrong. Do you remember the Japanese stage list from like back in the early days when they had like set stages and there were no counter picks? You know what? I think I've never heard of that. So back in 2018, um, like for like a couple months, Japan tournaments, it was like game one was Battlefield, game two, or sorry, game one was PS2, game two was Battlefield, and game three was Final Destination. And there were no counter picks. You just you, you knew what stage you were going yeah. to every time. That's interesting. Yeah. Definitely was not a popular stage list and they got rid of it, but I think the philosophy was like, hey, you know what? It's a new game. Let's try something new. And then obviously it didn't work. Yeah. And Ulta plays a lot like Smash 4 right now. Mm -hmm. So, got a little bit of history there. I can't never, I can never get over that up tilt from Link. <laughs> yeah. that, that's a good up tilt, right? It is. Yeah, it literally like covers right behind him. That's pops nice. him up into the air whenever he wants. Okay. How are you feeling this round, French Shooter? Uh, am, I, am I distracting you at all? Sure nah, you're no, trying to get back on the stage, you got this. Oh! Good. You could have. That was almost it. You could have gotten back on there. That's something very, very snasty afterwards. Oh. The snipe. Not the Swedish sniper, but sniper nonetheless. Just very prepared for a CS go to. Yeah, oh yeah, definitely. Have you played? No, I played the original. I actually was more of a Valorant person. Oh, word. Um, I heard, I haven't played CSGO 2 myself, or CS2 rather, but I, I heard it's like kind of a little a little buggy, a little on the buggy side <laughs> this time around. I heard it's, I've actually seen that some friends don't like it. Yeah, I think it's because it's different. I mean, CSGO has been around for how long? Like, like, I think like 10 years, like over a decade. Like, yeah, like something I, that's ridiculous. what I'm thinking. I, I could never. <laughs> this is very similar to Melee. Hey, you know what? Round three will make a CSGO, just for you guys. <laughs> Post out the keyboards. <laughs> French Shooter, how do you feel about shooters? Shooters? Yeah. Uh, they're fun. Yeah? Yeah. My kind of fun. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing, right? Okay, well, you guys finished that pretty fast, but I still got a couple more trivia questions here, so I'm just going to lay it on you right now, okay? Sure. So here's question number three. In the Super Smash Brothers series, King Didi is voiced by his creator, Masahiro Sakura. Is this true or false? True. Correct. He is indeed. All right, guys, that set was pretty fast because it was a best two of three, you know, yeah. which is only two games. I'm not saying he clobbered you because it was, <laughs> I thought you did, I thought you put up a good job, you know? <laughs> yeah, it was pretty competitive, you know, with the voice in the, in the back of the head. So I got two more questions for you, but this time you can just focus on the questions. No gameplay happening here. Um, this is now question number four of the round. Who won low res? Was it Tilde, Samsora, Quid, or Tweak? 